Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn uh, 4.4 4, ANOVA using Microsoft Excel. Okay. So in this topic, you should be able to use Excel to solve a problem uh, for one way ANOVA and two way ANOVA. Uh, for one way ANOVA, this is the instructions when you are using Excel. Uh, step number one, you must key in your data and then uh, you go to the menu data uh, click for data analysis and then choose ANOVA single factor after that you will enter your data range okay and then you will set a value for your alpha and then also you will set the output option and then you will click OK and then you can have the uh, the ANOVA table for one way ANOVA so this is uh we use the same example from example 4.1 okay your hash null is mu1 equal mu2 equal mu3 equal mu4 and then your hash1 is mu i not equal mu j so first you will enter your data okay and then you will go to the menu data here and then you will select data analysis and then you will select ANOVA single factor okay and then you will have your output after this so this is your output for your uh, for your one way ANOVA table okay uh, this 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 is the ANOVA one way table okay this is your F test value F alpha value and then this is the your p value so when you have the f test the p value and also the f alpha value uh step number 4 you can have your analysis okay For, uh, so if you are using p value you can compare your p value with the alpha so as you can see the p value is smaller than your alpha so your decision is reject H null and also your F test is larger than your F alpha so the, uh, the decision is also reject H null so for your conclusion at alpha 0 0.01 at least one of the population means of the temperature is different okay so that means uh, if you are using P value or the F test value the decision will still be the same the decision is still reject H null ok so you must have a uh, same decision either you use uh, F test or the P value ok next we go to the instruction for two way ANOVA using Excel so same as one way ANOVA your step 1 is insert your data Okay, please remember replication data should be entered vertically. And then choose menu data and then go to data analysis and then this time you select ANOVA two factor with replication and then you will enter your data range in column and then you will set the value for your alpha and then last one click OK. So now let's look example 4.4 using example 4.2 previously. So now your hash null is there is no interaction between catalyst and the reagent. H1 will be there is an interaction effect between catalyst and reagent. So insert your data like this one. Okay. And then go to the menu data and then data analysis and then select ANOVA two factor with replications okay this is your input range okay rows per sample equal to because you you uh, insert your data in rows two rows for your uh, every uh, sample and then your alpha is 0 0.05 and then click OK so this is 
so this is your output for your two way ANOVA table from the Excel so as you can see sample here is factor A column here is factor B this is the interaction and then this is the error and then this is the total so this column here is the F test value this one is the P value and this one is your F alpha value so when we have all the values needed we can have the analysis so we compare P value for the interaction first okay we check for interaction first so the interaction uh, P value is 0 0.5 larger than alpha 0 0.05 and also if you check for your F test 0 0.78 is larger than F alpha 2.99 so both of the analysis give the decision do not reject as null or accept as null okay so when we accept as null that means for your conclusion is there is no interaction effect between catalyst and region on the yield of the chemical process okay so that means when there is no interaction between catalyst and region between factor n uh, between factor a and factor b so that means we need to proceed with the row uh, analysis and column analysis so now we need to proceed with the marginal effect first we check for the row effect so your h now is there is no effect of catalyst h1 is there is an effect of the catalyst so now we check for your f test value 7.7167 and the p value is 0 0.0039 so your f test is larger compared to the f alpha and your p value is smaller compared to the alpha value so now the, the decision is reject is now okay so now for your conclusion at alpha 0 0.05 there is an effect of the catalyst on the yield of the chemical process after we finish with the row effect next we move on to the column effect so your hash null is there is no effect of the re uh, regions h1 there is an effect of the regions so from your output in the table your f test is 4.49 uh, your p value is 0 0.035 5.6 so your F test is larger than your F alpha and your P value is smaller than your alpha so that means your decision is reject now so that means at alpha 0 0.05 there is an effect of the regions on the yield of a chemical process so as you can see when we are using Excel and also when we uh, use manual calculations from the previous subtopic, we still get the same answer. We still have the same decision. Okay, so uh, Excel will give same output, same decision, same conclusion as your manual calculations. Okay, now let let's test our knowledge on exercise 4.4 okay so question number one is a vending a vending company of soft drink dispensing machines are supposed to serve six ounces of beverage various machines were sampled and then the result amount of dispensed drink were, reco uh, were recorded as follows so you have four different type of machine machine a b c and d okay so the question is based on the excel output below does this sample provide sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis that all four machines dispense the same average amount of soft drinks okay your alpha is 0 0.01 so now first you have uh, you have the table here and then you have the ANOVA for one way ANOVA table here okay so your factor is uh, type of machine machine a b c and d that is your uh, factor um, so now your hash null will be 
mu a equal mu b equal mu c equal mu d okay you can have mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 or you can have uh, same label a b c d okay h1 will be mu i not equal mu j that means uh, all of the all of the uh, means have a different different uh, value or one of the um, uh, means have a different value okay so for your analysis look at your f test here you have also the p value and then you have also the f alpha so your f test is larger compare your f alpha f test 26 0.5131 larger compared to the f alpha 6.5 so that means you are going to reject now okay if you are using p value p value exponent of 4 4.48 exponent uh, negative 0 uh, negative 5 okay so that means this value is smaller than your alpha 0 0.01 so that means you are going to also reject now so that means for your conclusion we have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis that all four machine dispense the same average amount of sufferings okay that is for question number one Okay, now we go to question number two. In an experiment conducted to determine which of three different missile system is preferable, the propellant burning rate for 24 static firings was measured. Four different propellant types were measured. Okay, we have different type of propellant. And then the experiment yielded duplicate observations of burning rates at each combination of the treatments and the output analyzed by Excel and the output is given below so this is the two-way unwatt table so the question is is there any interaction is there any interaction if uh, between the different missile system and the different propellant types if no, is there an effect due to, due to problem type and missile system? So factor A will be the missile system. This is factor A, missile system. And then factor B will be the problem types, B. This one A, this, okay, B is problem types. Or you can also check from uh, the table this one degree of freedom equal 2 because we have three different uh, three different missile system so this one is a minus 1 so 3 minus 1 equal to 2 this one is 3 because we have four propellant types okay so 4 minus 1 will be 3 okay this is how you read your two way unobat table Okay, how you decide which one is uh, factor A and which one is factor B. Okay, now for your first analysis, you check for the interaction effect. Okay, you can see this is the, the F test for the interaction effect. And then this is the F alpha. So as you can see, your F test 2.9729 is compared to the F alpha is smaller okay smaller so that means your division is exceptional okay and then your p value 0 0.0512 and then compare with the with the alpha 0 0.05 Okay, because there is no alpha mentioned in this question so we use the uh, standard alpha 0 0.05 so it is larger larger to the alpha value 0 
so the, uh, the decision is also exceptional okay it's up to you for for use uh, you want to use uh, the f test or the p value because it's no mention in this question okay if the question mention use p value then please use the p value if there are no specific instructions so you are free uh, to use either the f test or the p value so when both of our analysis give a decision exceptional that means okay before that uh, uh, we forgot to con construct the hypothesis uh, hash null no interaction interaction hash one have interaction so when we accept hash null that means there are no interaction between the different type of missile system and different type of for the propellants so that means you need to proceed with the marginal effect test for the row effect and then test for the column effect so for the first one okay now we just use the we use the p value for faster result for your analysis so p value for your row effect 0 0.01 is smaller than alpha 0 0.05 so that means we are going to reject now ok this one is reject now that means uh, there are uh, there is an effect of missile system ok on the propellant burning rate ok so we have uh, the first uh, conclusion for the first factor first uh, if factor A next we move on to the column effect so the p value is 0 0.001 which is also smaller than alpha 0 0.05 so that means we also are going to reject as now that means there are there is an effect of different propellant types on the burning rate okay so there you that is your conclusion first we check for the interaction and then there is no interaction effect between uh, missile system and the propellant type so that means we need to proceed with the marginal effect uh, check for the row, uh, row factor and then the column factor okay so I hope uh, you guys can practice uh, understand question number one and question number two Okay. so I hope you guys can practice question number one and question number two uh, and then uh, I hope all of you can understand how to read the excel output from the excel and then how to have your analysis from the output ok so good luck everyone in your final later thank you